Good evening. Welcome to, back to Music Minute at Epiphany Lutheran Church here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministries, and we're excited to go through our hymns for tomorrow's worship. And uh, we're glad that you've joined us, and we're in a little bit different venue this evening. We are in the new music room here at church, and it looks wonderful. Um, so we have our new instrument here, uh, the piano that you'll hear tonight and a few other new things in here too, but we'll uh, gradually introduce you to them over the next coming weeks, maybe. So we're gonna start with um, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. This marks uh, Reformation Sunday, tomorrow. And this particular hymn is probably, maybe the most written about, sung and translated hymn in the history of the church. Uh, before 1900, there were over 80 translations and in, that was in 53 languages. By the end of the 20th century, it's estimated that there were about 200 languages in translation, and there were just over 100 English translations alone. So you can imagine that uh, this has been gotten, gotten a lot of press time. Uh, contrary to popular belief, this tune did not originate in a bar with Martin Luther. Um, it is done in bar form, and uh, many of the chorales in the days of Martin Luther were that way. Um, they were very jaunty and rhythmic, uh, but this was not uh, in place bar tune at the time. Uh, so throughout the years, we morphed into the more uh, isometric version that we sing in church, um, the very straight rhythms. Uh, so you'll hear a little bit of all that worked in today and tomorrow as we go through this. So this is Variations on a Mighty Fortress is Our God.
So a little bit different treatment of A Mighty Fortress is Our God. If you want the big, loud organ and trumpets, tune in tomorrow for online worship and you'll get your full share there. So we'll go ahead and move on. I'll get rid of some of these pages. Our next tune will be The Church of Christ in Every Age. Sorry, a lot of pages to that. So the text writer for this, um, that he was asked to tackle the difference between Sabbath and Sunday, so or the relationship between Sabbath and Sunday. So uh, when LBW came along in 1978, uh, the committee that was actually working on putting that hymnal together went to the writer, Fred Pratt Green at the time, and asked for some changes. So that's somewhat unique because oftentimes we make different translations and we change things as we move on, but the composer or the author of the text is often not with us any longer, he's dead, or um, she, she is not able to give us responses. So in this case, we were able to get that response and he approved those changes for the LBW in 1978. The tune is named for the birthplace of the composer and uh, that composer was known as a country psalm singer. Uh, so he was also rumored to have not been the easiest person to get along with. Uh, in fact, there are some poems that were written about him that are less than flattering. I won't share those with you tonight, but um, I don't know if that's true or not. But at any rate, the Church of Christ in every age. nice rich chords in there that you don't get to typically hear. So I hope you enjoyed that. And our sending hymn tomorrow will be My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. And we actually did this not too long ago, but we did it as the Eternal Father Strong to Save with the Navy hymn. Uh, the hymn was, this particular hymn um, was written in 1834 with six stanzas. And the first four stanzas, plus the refrain, were actually written um, by, by the author on the way to work. And so he then met up with a dying sick woman, and that woman uh, had the pleasure of hearing those four stanzas being sung to her. 
And then he went home that night afterwards, and by the fire, he wrote the last two stanzas uh, to go with the other ones. Uh, Edward Mote went, um, he was born in England, and his parents owned a pub. Uh, it was rumored that they pretty much ignored him, and his Sundays were spent uh, basically playing in the streets. So he didn't even know that there was a god. Uh, that's important, as he became older and he went on, he was a cabinet maker, uh, apprenticed as such, and uh, then he became baptized at a Baptist church along in there, and then served a Baptist church as a pastor um, a little bit later for 21 years. Uh, he retired from there, and about a year after that he died, uh, but that was not before his time serving 21 years, plus that one year that he wrote about 100 hymns uh, over that course of those, those years. So uh, this uh, tune, as we mentioned before a few weeks ago, was actually written for the Navy hymn, uh, but so the tune was out there, Melita, and um, the text, this text was added later. So this is a little gospel version of my hope is built on nothing less. different treatment again if you are looking forward to the organ and the pipes and such tomorrow you can hear that online if you tune in for that which those online options will be on Facebook and YouTube at 10 30 uh, in-person worship will be at 10 o'clock make sure you sign up before you come please and uh, we thank you for coming in this evening and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week take care <laughs>